Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to learn um, problem solving using graphs. Lesson 9.13. Make sure you have your lesson in front of you. Okay, let's start. I think I've taught this to you before. This is called a graph. And a graph tells you some information about data or information that you want to know about. Okay, let's look at your graph today. If you look at the top, that is the title. And the title of your graph today is Kernel Count. Another information that you can find out from this graph is the names of the kinds of kernel. And down at the bottom are numbers, and that tells you the number of kernels. Okay? Very important. Now, when you want to find out how many crazy kernels there are, you have to look at the graph. See this blue line? You have to look all the way to the end and then scroll down and that will tell you how many kernels they made or they have. Okay? Right. Good. So let's start. It says here the first question is, how many more kernels did the Porky Pops count than the Popping Tops? Okay, so first we have to find out how many kernels did Perky Pops make? It looks like this is Perky Pops. You look all the way to the end of that blue line and it looks like they have 90 kernels, okay? Then if we look at Popping Tops, here's the name. Look all the way to the end of the blue line, then go down, and it looks like they have 81 kernels. But the question now is, how many more than? Okay? So that is the clue, more than. When you hear those two words together, it is, what's the operation? Take away. That's right. So let's put the whole number first, right? Always start with the big number when you're doing takeaway. So, it is 90 kernels. Take away 81. Got it? Can we do zero take away one? No, we can't because one is a larger number than zero. So what do we do? Regroup, that's right. So let us regroup. We'll take a 10 out of the 9, that makes it 80. We'll put the 10 on the other side and add the 0. 10 take away 1 is 9. And 8 take away 8 is 0. And we never put the 0 in the tens place because your number never starts with the 0. So the answer is 9 more. I hope you got that one, because we're going to go on to number one. Here's the good news, though. Today, you don't have to do the back part of your paper, because it requires the whole class to participate, and we are online, so we can't do it. So we only have three problems today. That's easy, right? We will do the, fir the first two together, and you're going to do the third one on your own. So listen carefully. First question. How many more kernels did the Poppin' Tops count than the crazy kernels? So let's look at the facts first. Poppin' Tops, ah, they made 81, right? We know that. And then the crazy kernels made all the way to the end, 73. So when we use the words more than, what do we use? Takeaway is correct. And we always start with a bigger number. 81 and 73. 81 is bigger. So we start with 81 and we did say that it is takeaway 73. Can we do one takeaway three? No. So we have to regroup. Go ahead and regroup by yourself. Okay, I hope you regrouped. 
let us regroup. We'll take a 10 out of the 8. That makes 70. We'll put the 10 here and move the 1 there. 11 take away 3 is 8. 7 take away 7 is 0, but we never put that as the first number, right? So the answer is 8 more. I hope you got that. You want to try the second one? Why don't you pause for a minute and check your work? All right. I hope you got that one right. Let's do number two. How many more kernels did the highest scoring team count than the lowest scoring team? So we have to find the highest scoring team and the lowest scoring team. Highest scoring team, let me see. Looks like this one did it. Perky Pops, and they have 90 kernels. So let's start with that. And when we are comparing, we use takeaway, right? And of course, the lowest scoring team is Jumping Jacks. How many do they have? Look carefully. 69 is correct. All right, so we cannot do zero take away nine. You regroup and figure it out by yourself. I will stop the video at this point because I want you to figure out number two, solve it by yourself, and then I want you to read number three carefully and solve it by yourself as well. All right, that's it for today. See you tomorrow.